Hi there, welcome to the Postman series and the agenda of this session is introduction to Postman, how to install the Postman native app and where to install it from, then Postman Google Chrome extension which is a deprecated one and we'll see that why Postman for API testing and finally sign up and login. All right, so what is Postman? So this is the site, uh, this, this particular slide, the content of it I've taken from the official website of Postman. And you could see that Postman is an API client. It offers automation testing of APIs. You can design your APIs. You can have the mock uh, server set up. Uh, you can document your APIs. Uh, you can schedule your API execution to get to know the health of your API and you know, workspaces. So I'm a QA and this whole series will be targeting how to do API testing using Postman. So we'll be focusing solely on this particular, this particular section. All right. So the next point is where to install Postman from, all right? So for that, what you have to do is, you have to open your, open your browser, right? So you have to open your browser. Let's open a browser uh, and type in Postman, all right? So the first link, you have to click on this, this is the official site of Postman. And they say it provides a collaborated platform for API development. And this is the slide that I've picked from this website, all right? So anytime uh, you require any help on, you know, documentation and, you know, it comes with, uh, so there are two versions of Postman right uh, one is your free one the other is your commercial version uh, for this session for this series we'll use the free version of postman uh, the other version is your team uh, version wherein if you are working within a team and you require you know collaboration amongst the team member then i recommend you go for that but again totally your, your personal choice all right so now the next uh, item from the agenda is to download it so just click on this download button all right and it will take you to the uh, to this particular page from where you can download it so as you could see that this website is smart enough to recognize that I'm using Windows operating system so this native app uh, is available for Mac OS and Linux all right so in my case because I'm working on Windows so it is smart enough, you just click on it. Now it asks you which version you want to download. Since my version of Windows is 64-bit, so I'm gonna click on this version, all right? And the download will start. So let's wait for the download to start in. And now I'll cancel it since I've already downloaded it to save time, right? Uh, then we also talked about the other item was uh, you know the, the chrome extension so again you type in postman google chrome extension first link link click on that and with the help of this button you can install this extension however just look at this it is clearly saying that postman chrome is deprecated all right so now postman wants everybody to use the native application and it provides some really good features as well compared to this uh, Chrome extension, all right? So now let's move on to the sign up part. So now once this setup is downloaded, this EXE is downloaded, all you have to do is just click on it, follow all the instructions mentioned on the, the installer and just finish the task. Once your application is installed, you launch it and it will ask you for sign up. All right, so now it is going to ask you for sign up thing, right?
yeah so you will see this page and postman is on this slide mentioning why you should sign up once you sign up you can organize all your api work within postman workspaces so that's a term that we are going to see in the next video what a workspace is basically it allows you to organize your work that is it right then the next thing is it syncs your postman data so whatever that you're going to you know insert into your postman app whatever you're going to save so whatever work you have in your postman app that will be synced to the postman uh, cloud and you can back up your data from the postman cloud so what that means so let's say you move on to a different machine tomorrow all you need to do is again download the postman and log in with your credentials into that and you'll be able to see all your work all your workspaces all your collections all your folders all your test cases all your scripts and everything all right and more important it is free so here also you could see create free account so providing your email username and password and click on this so once you do this postman will send you an email to confirm that you are the genuine user so open your email whatever you have provided here right click on that link and confirm now come back to uh, your postman native app again and provide in your sign in and uh, provide in your sign in uh, in credentials like your email and your password click on the sign in and then you are logged in all right so this is what you're going to see once you log in into your uh, app of course in your case this would be empty but since i've been using this for a while so it, it shows uh, some some requests some history all right so now there is one thing which we have to talk about that why postman for api testing because uh, uh, there are other uh, you know very famous uh, framework and tools available in the market you know uh, i i mean um, i name some like you know rest assured you require java knowledge uh, to work on that then you have uh, you know uh, uh, catalon also um, there also you know if you need to uh, write the scripts uh, though it's a keyword driven thing but if you need to write the scripts you need again uh, the knowledge of groovy uh, <clears throat> and for python you have a request right so these are all very famous one uh, then why why postman so the thing is therein uh, you have to accept catalon where you can use the keyword but uh, another one you have to uh, write code for everything Postman provides you is a nice UI, you know, through which you can easily set up your request. So it also offers you the ability to test your uh, endpoints manually. So you can set up your request, you know, uh, send your request, see the response and check whether the response is correct or not. All right. Now, the second part of it is the automation. So instead of checking the results uh, uh, every time you, you send a request, you can write test cases into Postman. And for that, you require basic knowledge of JavaScript. Uh, uh, that, that is point number one. Second is, what if you say, I, I don't even know basic JavaScript, then don't worry. There are some basic tests that you can still write because Postman offers you code snippets, right? Uh, so it offers you pre-request script snippets, and it offers you uh your test snippets all right so go into the test section of the postman i'll show you in the next video you go in there click on the snippet and some basic tests are generated for example your status code check whether uh you know your you check your response time check whether a particular string is present in the response or not check a particular value or particular um, you know property value within your response body so you can do all that all right now there's a there's a tool which is a it's a postman uh, cli companion uh, which is called as newman so with the help of newman what you can do is whatever test that you have written in your postman you can automate that and once you automate the the automated test cases you can run that in your ci cd pipeline using jenkins or any other server other benefit it provides you again uh, don't need to do much of the work to make your test cases data driven you have to pass in your data from external csv and json file you just need to hook that again a ui which is going to help you 
in doing so with newman again a command is really simple just use the flag hyphen d and provide the path of the file and it is going to do the job right so even a manual tester can start doing api testing right away with the help of postman the other thing is what to test in in your apis for that i have created a video to demystify uh, api black box and in that video, you will find out, you know, how any, what are the basic building blocks of API, and that will give you some idea on what you have to test in an API, because there is no UI, all right? So it is application programming interface testing. So watch that video, and if you like this video, you know, subscribe to this channel. Thank you. See you in the next.